Hello everyone! Today I'm doing a what's in my clinical bag. I thought that maybe some of you may be interested in seeing what I use at clinicals and some of you may be going to nursing school for the first time and may not be super sure of like what they should be putting in their clinical bag. I know I didn't go to clinicals for the first semester. We had online clinicals so I was a little unsure of what exactly I would need in my clinical bag when I finally did go for second semester. I will tell you though, after going through clinicals, I've come to the realization you really don't need that much to bring with you to clinicals, especially in like any semester past the first one, because usually the first one is when you need to go to a nursing home or something and you will have to bring your own manual blood pressure cuff. But once you go to clinicals in the hospitals, you really don't need that anymore since they have the automatic machines. If any of you have seen the semester two prep video, I believe it's in that video that I bought this bag because I didn't need a clinical bag for first semester, like I said, since it was online. So I need to get one for second semester. You may have seen this already, but my bag itself is the Maven backpack. I got it from Amazon. It's a pretty big bag, but it fits everything that I need in it. And this bag also, it can do the straps like a backpack, which I really like, or you could just carry it like a tote or a purse. My personal favorite is the backpack. So there's two pockets in the front. I don't keep anything in this front pocket. <laughs> Oh my god, a bunch of stuff just fell out. So in this part of the pocket, I have a bunch of pens, pencils, and a Sharpie marker. I really only use pens and Sharpies. And then I have a multicolored pens as well. I have black, blue, and then like pink color. Because usually you're going to be at the clinical site more than one day. And when you're writing stuff down in the paperwork that we write in, we use it for both days. And so our professors are aware that we are writing on a different day. We write it in a different color for them. And here I have a snack that needs to be thrown out because because it's from <laughs> it's from like May or March. Yeah, I normally will keep like a snack in that pocket in case I for some reason don't eat my lunch. This is another snack that I got from this pocket. So that I also usually keep forceps and Kelly clamps and I will also keep my Sharpie and a small notebook. Uh, the notebook usually comes in handy for if I'm bouncing from a different room to another room and I want to get there afternoon vital signs and I may have one, more than one patient or also you know just basic little notes that I may put in here and a uh, highlighter we need so that way again in our clinical paperwork when we write something that may be abnormal we want to highlight that we know that it's abnormal. Quite truthfully I had to buy these Kelly clamps for labor and delivery but I never actually use them. The front pocket is also where I will normally keep my badge. In the back pocket, I keep a mask. This one is like the one that you get from the hospital. When I was in labor and delivery, they didn't supply me any of these masks, so I just had to keep bringing one of my own. They didn't want like a regular fabric one, but they also didn't need an N95, so I had to keep one of these on hand. I also have my badge in here too, so I got my little badge reel. If at the end of the day, I usually will just shove it in that part of the bag when I get into my car. Um, I also have a headband in here. This is one of those headbands that has the little buttons on the side, so that way when you're wearing a mask it's not pulling on your ear it's pulling on the buttons this one i got from amazon my cousin bought like a pack of six i want to say and so she gave me three of them i paid her like three dollars for them because <laughs> i think it was like six bucks for all of them if i can find them on amazon i will link them but these were pretty nice to have since you have to wear a mask right now so in the hospital in addition to needing to wear a mask usually you'll need to wear goggles or a face shield um, especially for our school but also it could also be the clinical sites policy uh, so I have these really cheap ones that my school supplied me with. I have a spare pair of goggles in case I for some reason forget, lose, or break the other pair. <clears throat> but so far the other one's been my... I've only used that other one. Then of course I have my stethoscope bag. It is just a switch case that is the new horizons you may have seen this in my nursing school hall it has everything that i need in it so it has my stethoscope on one side then this middle flap i have two pen lights i have an led one and then a fluorescent one our school wanted us to have the fluorescent ones i also have my bandage scissors these are just black i also got them off of amazon on the bottom <laughs> i have two more of those headbands i have it in a navy blue and a black color i have some trash from gauze. <laughs> 
that I just shoved in my bag. So that's fun. And my N95 mask in a brown baggie with my name labeled on it in case I need it when I'm at the hospital, which like I've said, the hospitals that I've gone to for clinicals have only needed us to wear a surgical mask instead of a N95. I also have a notebook that I keep in it. I swear to God though, I've never used it. I thought maybe I would need to use it for like school notes or something, but really when you're in clinicals, you don't need a notebook this big. The smaller notebook worked just fine for me. I think I'm still gonna keep this in here just in case, but to be honest, I don't think I'll ever use it. But it was just one that I had laying around, so I shoved it in there. <laughs> I have my cousin's spare <laughs> car key fob in case uh, during the days that I would be carpooling with her in case I got out of the clinicals before she did, we would go to the same hospitals, just we were on different units. Um, <clears throat> she gave me her spare one and I never gave it back, so I may need to use this this semester again, you know, if we're lucky enough to get placed in either the exact same clinical or the same hospital, so. If I don't need it this semester, then I, I'll, I'll give it back to her, but I forgot I had it too. Then I have my clipboard. It's a little broken, I'll be honest. I accidentally broke like the back part of it. I think I just need to glue it because otherwise when I open it up, see how it like pops out like that? I keep patient information in here for my patient that I have that day. So we use this S-bar sheet. We have our lab diagnostic sheets. We then have a um, pathophysiology form that we have to fill out. It's kind of like a flow sheet. And then we also do drug cards. And then I have a medication administration worksheet. The med sheets, those are for what we do when we get home. And then the medication administration worksheets are what we do while we're at clinicals. And it's like a really quick summed up version of information about the medication since we don't have all day to do those full med sheets. Just something quick so that way we get the basic information of what we need to safely administer medication to our patients. Usually I keep a lot of spare papers in here too. And I also have a pencil in here. I don't, like I said, I don't really use a pencil, but in case I need to use a pencil, I keep it in here. Lastly, I have my clinical binder. I need to go through this because this still has information from the past clinical that I just did for semester two. But what I keep in here is extra paperwork for each week that I'm in clinicals. I usually keep these little sheets in here too, just in case they go through and list out, you know, skills, how to do them in the correct order. So like that's a head to toe assessment, just in case there may be something that I keep forgetting, I can look at here and review it. Basic things, how to do G2 medications. If I haven't gotten the opportunity to do that, I can review it. Care plan worksheets, like I said, extra worksheets. And then this is also where I keep each week's clinical paperwork from the patients that I had. I'm probably going to move all of the worksheets that I have used into another binder and at the end of my school nursing school career I'm going to burn them. It has information about patients that isn't meant for everybody to see. Um, obviously we want to keep their privacy. It doesn't have their full name or anything. It usually has like their initials and the room number that they were in but you never know there could be information in there where somebody may be able to tell who that was. So I am going to burn it all at the end of the school year. But yeah, so that's what I got in my binder. The last thing is I keep a spare notebook in case I use up the other one. I'll have an extra one. I don't have to worry about not having one. But like I said, I haven't really needed to use it that much, so. And I think that's it for what is in my clinical bag. Normally, in addition to what I take in my clinical bag, I will have my lunch and I'll have a water bottle. If there's any questions that you may have about what you may think you should or shouldn't bring, you know, let me know down in the comments. Like I said, it's pretty basic stuff that you need to bring with you. You don't need a whole lot. I have a couple extra things in there that I don't really need, but I just keep with me just in case. I will link as much of the items that I can down in the description. So if you are interested in some of these items, you will be able to easily find them. Obviously, I'm not going to be linking any of the worksheets that I have in there just because that's my school's property, not mine. And your school will probably supply you with your own worksheets to go through during your clinical day and at home. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am currently working on a new video where I talk about getting hired. I got a new job recently, but I haven't started yet.